What's going on guys, Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. And in today's filet demo, I got a greater amberjack right here. This is actually a really small greater amberjack in terms of how big they actually get. These guys get in excess of 100 pounds. And I'm gonna show you something neat about this fish is we're not just gonna filet it the traditional Western way, but I'm also gonna show you how to remove the collar so you guys can make grilled collar, broiled collar, and just kind of talk about the fish collar and how to not waste fish and make it go the maximum you can. So the first thing we're going to do for our amberjack, just like with any fish, I feel around to where the head meat ends, which is right around here, that soft part. I'm going to go follow it. We're going to follow around here, around this peck fin, which is that side fin right there. Okay, now we're gonna outline our fillet just like with any fish. Tip of our knife along that fish's spine and just work our way down. Nice sharp knife like this six inch boning knife. Makes it real easy. Okay, we get all the way to the tail. Come down like there. And then now we're just gonna continue to go from the tail up towards the head with our knife on that fish's spine at all times. Okay, so when we get to this flap of head meat right here, you're gonna have to give it some oomph to kind of break through the pin bones. The pin bones attach the filet to the rib cage once you break through those, you can take your knife and just take that tip and just go along that backbone just to separate, separate the filet from the backbone right there. And they do have a really big pronounced backbone. So we just break through. That's what I'm talking about. You hear that? Real big backbone. Now point your knife tip down on the other side of the backbone, which is go along with the filet. Okay, so once you free this up, once you free that up, and I know I like to take my time with these filet videos, but that's because I wanna show you guys every little trick in the book when it comes to filleting fish. It's not about speed. I wanna show you guys the anatomy, the bone structure, and all that. So now, amberjack have real big rib cages. So we wanna just get on top of those rib cage bones and go down with our knife. Okay, this is what I'm talking about, real big rib cage that not that's not missed meat that's just a real big rib cage right there and I'll tell you what now we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side right here around the peck fin into the head the soft part of the head meat just like so and take my knife kind of swivel it this way and now we're gonna go along the spine this way towards the amberjack's tail Okay, once we outline that, now we're just gonna take our knife and just run it along that spine and just separate the filet from the bone. Okay. Once you break through the pin bone right there, you have your fillet to the other side of the backbone. Now we take the tip of our knife, once again go down. Over this rib cage. Now, 
There's the other side of our amberjack filet. Big piece of meat. And you know what? Since it's the second side, I still haven't noticed any worms and amberjack are usually notorious for having a lot of worms. But so far, no worms in this filet. So once we got our filet off of the fish, I got a nine inch narrow filet knife, which is my preferred knife for skinning. It's longer, it's very thin, so you can skin nicely. So what I do is I start at the tail end of the fish and I just work my way towards the head half. Just kind of gliding right above the skin, making nice long strides. And if I leave a little bit of meat on the skin, it's no big deal because that's usually the reddest part of the filet anyway. So we flip it around and see that's what I mean. If you leave a little bit on the skin, I'd rather do that than leave the skin on the fish because that's where your bloodline is, that's where the really fibrous parts of the fish are. So I like to leave a little bit on. Now all we got left to do is get rid of the pin bones. And if you want to get rid of the bloodline, which I'm going to do because Amberjack do have a really big bloodline, I'm going to do is start over here. This is where the backbone was. We're going to go on both sides of it because the pin bones are in there as well as the bloodline. So we're going to get rid of both at the same time. I'm going to go all the way down. It should lift right up. And so there's where your pin bones lie. That is where the red meat lies. So we get rid of that. And that's all there is to it. So now let's knock off the collar off the head and we're done. So before we move on, what exactly is the fish collar? Well, the fish collar is the area between the head and the filet of the fish. Right here, it's got the pectoral fin attached to it. And this is actually a different amberjack that my fiance just flayed up and I wanted to demonstrate on this fish because it's a little bit bigger. So we got more to work with. And the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna remove the uh, backbone or the backbone, the filet from the, uh, the head itself. So I give it one big pop, like you're going to the chiropractor from this side too. Okay, so we gotta get the filet off the head like I said. And you gotta go through the backbone. I got this tiger edge knife right here. Just go right through it. Okay, so now we can dispose of the carcass. Now the collar connects on the lower side going all the way into the jaw. So I'm gonna take this tiger edge and just go right through it. So you see how that kind of disconnected from there, okay? Now you can kind of rip this apart like that. Now the gills will remain in the head. Now we got to detach it from the top half. Now to detach it from the top half, I'm going to come around here, always just following the soft part of the meat. If you go just like that, now we're going to be able to remove the collar. Okay, we got it off that side. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side, so. Okay, there we go. So this is the collar that I'm talking about. So now if you look, here's your head, here's the gills, here is head meat that should be part of your filet, but I already explained that. Now, all you gotta do is kind of just trim this up. So if there's any guts or anything in here, or anything that doesn't look edible, or bone, we take that out. But this is all meat in here. And it's supposed to be some of the most tender parts of the fish, the fish collar, the fattier part of the fish. And it, I mean, if you look on a bigger fish like this, it's pretty dense and heavy. It's definitely something not worth wasting and definitely taking the time to uh, enjoy. So I'm gonna continue to just trim this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to trim this up. And if you guys like these filet demos, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in that next filet video.